Okay, bear with me. My voice is terrible, but my math skills are not. So we have to decide if this series converges or diverges. And we have to use a limit comparison test. Make a couple of observations. This would diverge by P series. This is the same as Same thing, right? So we know that by P series, this this series would diverge. And so would this one, because they're the same thing. And what we can do is we can call this our B sub N, where our A sub N would be the original expression in terms of X's, of course. And now what we do is we build a sub n over b sub n. So we have to take the infinite limit. Uh, let's go x approaches infinity. So the limit as x approaches infinity of uh, a sub n over b sub n, okay? Which would be something like, uh, what would that be? A 5 over the square root of uh, x squared plus 2, because that's a sub n sitting over b sub n okay we can multiply by a reciprocal the fives go away we have a square root sitting on top of a square root so you could blend them into a single square root expression and then from here uh, you can plug in infinity in for x, but notice that in here, the degree of the numerator is 2, the degree of the denominator is 2, so they grow at a steady rate. This constant of 2 really loses its influence as x approaches a really big number. So essentially, we get back... <laughs> you basically get back 1, right? You'd get back the square root of 1, which is just one, because if you'd like, the limit could invade the square root expression. This is most definitely one. The square root of one is just one. So we've applied the limit comparison test, but what were the rules pertaining to the limit comparison test? Well, let's take a look at them right here. So notice that uh, we divided a sub n by b sub n, okay, and we got back a finite value of 1. So that plays the role of the C expression in, in this upper option. So since we got back 1, the limit comparison test says that A sub n and B sub n do the same thing. They either both converge or they both diverge. But since we established that our B sub n diverged by P series, then by the limit comparison test, it is said that A sub n would also diverge. So the overall conclusion to the matter is that the original given series diverges.